Hi everybody, I hope everybody got a great start to your week and I welcome you to my Muscle Functions video series. If this is your first time here, welcome again. If you are a reoccurring viewer, I thank you for your following and if you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing and your comments and questions. And uh, so just to get into it, this week I will be going over another one of the muscles of the six deep lateral hip rotators, okay? Last week I went over the piriformis. I will go over for this week the quadratus femoris muscle, okay? So I will go over the location which includes the origin and insertion followed by its function and then finally providing you an exercise so you know how to strengthen this muscle. So the quadratus femoris muscle is originated on the lateral border of the ischial tuberosity, also known as your sits bone or your butt bone. Okay, so, and then it inserts onto the posterior aspect of the greater tubercle of your femur. Okay, so like I said in the previous video, I won't be able to show you or pinpoint exact location due to how deep this muscle is. However, I will provide a picture after I pinpoint it out the roundabouts area where it is on my body. So the picture will show you exactly what the muscle looks like and its exact actual, actual origin and insertion points. So again, it originates on the lateral border of the ischial tuberosity, also known as your sit, sits bone or your butt bone, okay? So again, that is right back here, okay, and then inserts onto the posterior aspect of the greater tubercle of your femur. So that's that bony uh, protrusion pretty much right out here, your hip bone right out here, okay, so it's on the posterior aspect of that, so it lies deep back in there, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that picture for you guys right here so you know exactly where I'm talking about. you know exactly where I'm talking about, we can now apply its function, okay? Obviously, as I stated at the beginning of this video, it is a lateral hip rotator, okay? All these, over the next few videos that I make, I will be going over lateral hip rotators. So obviously, it is a lateral hip rotator, but it also helps assist in hip adduction, which is bringing your leg to the midline, okay, so it's pretty much this motion, okay, it doesn't have a whole lot of force to it, but it does assist in that movement, okay, and then the final uh, function of this, excuse me, the function of this muscle, the final one, would be to stabilize that femur into the acetabulum, or pretty much the hip joint, the ball and socket joint. So it's pretty much fixating that femur into that joint so it doesn't pop out or move around where it's not supposed to. So now moving on to exercises, again, the same as the last video, um, I'm going to use that same exact exercise because the main function of this muscle, along with the rest of these muscles, is lateral hip rotation, okay? And you can do that through uh, basically forced lateral hip rotation, okay? The exercise is just, you know, the function, um, but with obviously with force or with weight. Um, now, the function is actual, perfor actually performed in motion such as swinging a bat, possibly even throwing a ball, okay? So those are kind of some examples that where this motion actually lies in our everyday or the sports um, realm, I guess, if you will. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and insert that video of that exercise for you right here.
Okay everybody, I thank you so much for viewing this video. If you liked it, click the like button, pass it on with a share, uh, pass it on to somebody that may have uh, questions regarding uh, this area. Um, so again, thank you for watching and I will see you guys again next week. Have a great week.